Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to another episode. Yes, this is on my phone because last night I was watching the CONCACAF Champions League, which was a fantastic success if you're an MLS fan. I mean, Toronto FC getting the two goals away at Tigres to, the way, to advance on because of away goals. And then Red Bulls destroying Tijuana was insane. This just shows a great growth in fucking MLS. And thank God, no one can say this shit's retirement league anymore. I'm... Go I'm it was a good result. It felt good. And also, talking about Champions League. Let's go back to fucking Man United. Jose Mourinho is not a good manager. I've said this for so fucking long. He's overrated. I get it. He's in second place. But when he, when he spends the money he does, $300 million, you should be top. You shouldn't be second place 18 points back. You should be second place fighting for first place. Let's talk about the wins he has. Yes, he's won fucking Europa League. But again, he had 300 million. He had so much money spent with. He has such a talented roster. Then you could say, oh, what well, did he win? The five, uh, FA Cup? Not the FA Cup. FA Cup was it? Some other pointless fucking trophy? You know what he said about that shit? You know what he said in an interview yesterday after the game? He said, well, we, 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 at least Man United are in the FA Cup bashing Liverpool over the fucking Champions League. I mean, fucking. Well, uh, Salah. Fucking. Dig them with the post thing of can't wait for the round draw of Champions League, which is great. And I mean, Jose Mourinho has such great attacking talent. I mean, Alexis Sanchez has been ass for them. It just doesn't fit. Martial hasn't been hasn't reached his full potential. Mar Martial, Alexis Sanchez. I mean, Marcus Rashford has been better, but I get it. he has a career high in goals, but I don't think he looks anything near as good as he can be or the potential. Lukaku. Yes, he's had a good year, but he's not, he hasn't fulfilled potential. Pugba is another one. I mean, he had make a and that didn't work out. I mean, there's so many players they have attack-wise, and it just doesn't work. They don't score goals. You parked the bus against Sevilla, who are fifth in La Liga, who've been pretty ass, and Ben Yedder just dicks them. I mean, it's so bad. And I'm so happy they're gone, because they deserve it. They play like shit, and they're gone. Man United deserve it. Jose Mourinho should be gone. I mean, this see, this off season, I I believe Wenger and Mourinho need to go. They're, they're done. Let's just talk about some other news, which is pretty interesting. Talk about the Golden State Warriors, because they didn't practice yesterday, which is like, oh, no big deal. They take a day off. Well, they didn't practice because they partied too hard for Steph Curry's thirtieth birthday. I, want, I just want to be at that party because it seemed like it was fucking lit and they got fucking died. I mean, they probably got so fucked. They probably took so many shit. Oof, missed out. And I mean, that was pretty interesting. I, I thought I would never see the day or something like this. But again, it's the Warriors. They're the best team, one of the best teams in the NBA. They won the title. I mean, of course, it's not that big of a deal for them. They deserve it. And yeah, I'm actually kind of like giving a house tour right now. What the fuck? I don't know why I'm walking. And then let's just go back to the biggest news of them all. Free agency in the NFL. And it went off with a bang. Going from quarterbacks to receivers to every position and all the teams. There's been a lot of shit going down. Let's just start off with the quarterbacks. Sam Bradford signed a one-year $20 million deal with the Cardinals. He's made over $100 million so far in the NFL. For doing what? Absolutely fucking nothing. Being the first overall draft pick and that's it. I mean, I think some, some player... Oh, it was Eric Weddle. Chris has the shit out of him. And he's absolutely right. What the fuck has he done? Just be an average quarterback, and that's all you get. Kirk Cousins signed a three-year, $84 million deal. Fully guaranteed. That needs to happen more often than the NFL with the Vikings. Then Teddy Bridgewater went to New York Jets. And then there was Casey Keen went to Denver. And then Josh McCown re-signed with the Jets. $10 million for a backup position is fantastic. I mean, there's so many quarterback moves. The team I look at, I'm like, fuck, is the Cardinals, because they got, got fucked, or like Sam Bradford is their starting quarterback. Could be good, could be It's probably going to be bad. He's probably going to get injured, realistically. Then there's some also, so now let's talk about receivers, because receivers was such a big market. We had Jordy Nelson get released by the Packers, which is big. He hasn't signed anyway, yes. Sammy Watkins signed a big contract deal with Kansas City. Which is like, dang, I remember like last year he said, man, NFL players should be getting paid like NBA players. He's going to be like 13 million, above average. Good, he's making bank. 
and he's only played any. I think he's a little bit overrated too. But you know what? His size should be really good for Kansas City if he's on the field. Allen Robinson went to the Bears. Bears stacked up. Taylor Gabriel is also there. So does Trey Burton. They finally gave weapons to Mitchell Trubisky so he can succeed. That was a good move by him. Marquise Lee resigned with Jacksonville. Al Robinson, Sam Watkins, them, Jordan Nelson. Um, then Baltimore signed some two average receivers. They were trying to go for the top re receiver. Didn't. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of funny. Dolphins made two wide receiver signings after losing, losing Jarvis Landry. They signed Albert Wilson and Damian Amendola. Not bad. It's, like, it's not the greatest, but it's, I think Albert Wilson is hitting the prime, and Daniel Dole is a great person to have there to mentor other guys and winning rings and shit. Running back wasn't that, that interesting of a position. I mean, you have the, well, today 49ers signed Carlos Hyde. Might mean Chicago Barkley's gone. Isaiah Corral is going to the Jets. John Stewart's going to the Giants. And then really, the, the only running back everyone cares about is Le'Veon about what happens with him. Because no one knows. Tight ends was interesting because the Packers finally gave some some talent to fucking Rodgers with signing Jimmy Graham. And then then that happened. Trey Burns going to Chicago. And that's pretty good. Some good signings there. And yes, I'm, I might be missing some. Again, this is just all my head just coming up. Corner defensive-wise, woo. Jets overpaid to sign Tremaine Johnson, but they had to. Browns add some more players. I mean, there's a lot of signings. Uh, Richard, uh, Richard Sherman already signed with the 49ers. But there's a lot of signings. And a lot of teams did a lot of things. I mean, I look at the Bears did well. 49ers did well. Browns have done well. Packers done well, even though they released Jordy Nelson. They've done well. I, they need to still do a lot more because they did sign Muhammad Wilkerson too. But they need to do a lot more. I don't think the Cardinals have done well. Dolphins have done okay. The Jets, not much, but they've done. They've been getting better. Giants, they, I think God they signed Nate Soldier today because that would be really bad because they missed out on a lot of signings. Don't think Jonathan Stewart signing is good at all. And then Jets, okay, yeah, I said okay. Buccaneers, they at least re signed Mike Evans to a big deal, so that's good for them. Jaguars are doing really good. I don't know how. They sign all these players with their cap space, but they're signing a lot of players. They also signed Dante Moncrief. Then you, there's just there's a lot of good things going on. There hasn't been a team I'm like, holy crap, they're retarded. Even though I can say that about the Giants because they've been really shit. I'm not going to go there. Let me know what you guys think about free agency so far. Everyone's getting signed. Everyone's getting big deals. It's been a good free agency so far. This is going to be for today's video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and peace.